Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. My name is Ben Masick. I am the Worldwide Business Development Lead for Media Entertainment here at uh, AWS, and I'll spend uh, the next few minutes talking through the latest media and entertainment industry news from an AWS perspective. We've been seeing a lot of our media customers continuously and rapidly perfecting their media workloads by innovating on AWS, and we're seeing this across the entirety of the media lifecycle, from content creation and post-production all the way into the different forms of uh, distribution. A lot of this, of course, uh, enabled and connected through automation of media supply chains with uh, asset management helping along the way. We're also seeing a lot of use of machine learning and analytics. Uh, and in many situations, this is actually helping enhance and optimize a lot of these different media workflows. In particular, we're seeing a lot of use of ML and analytics as far as helping with consumer engagement, with learning more about consumers, with providing better user experiences. During reInvent, we've been very fortunate to have several great pioneering media customers. We've got two of them, uh, actually, that are going to join me uh, later on stage here, uh, that actually have been innovating and building next generation media workloads in an AWS type environment. We heard from Turner, that is doing some great work in terms of edit in cloud, all on AWS. We also have been hearing from Untold Studios. They're actually one of the first to actually run their visual effects studios in an AWS uh, infrastructure environment. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame also is moving a lot of their content archive and content library all on Amazon S3 storage. They're also leveraging machine learning tools as well as AI services such as recognition to extract a lot of the rich metadata. We're hearing from Fox. Uh, they are doing some fantastic work. They're actually building out uh, their transformative 8K capable media platform on AWS. Fox will actually be using AWS Media Services to deliver its linear broadcast workflows. And I'm sorry, a couple more. Uh, we also have HBO that's doing some great work also uh, in broadcast. They're uh, actually uh, uh, now running some of their uh, broadcast uh, for channel playout on AWS. Eurosport is building innovative direct-to-consumer experiences, delivering live sports across devices and borders. And finally, Hotstar is actually doing some really cool work. Uh, they actually set the world record uh, this year in terms of number of concurrent live streams for a sporting event uh, being hosted in an OTT-type environment. With all these great uh, media customers, with all of you in the room and uh, many of your peers from around the world, we're continuously pushing the envelope in terms of hearing about new requirements, new requests, as far as how we can actually help advance a lot of these next-gen uh, media workloads. And we're continuously looking for understanding what are some of the next solutions, next AWS services uh, that will be of uh, help. And as we prepare and move into 2020, some of the areas that we've been focusing on for quite some time, all based on a lot of uh, requirements and asks from so many of you, uh, first off, revolve around low latency where it matters most. And this is all about connecting a lot of the creatives, connecting a lot of on-prem type environments and allowing for those media flows from on-prem to move into cloud, to move into our AWS regions, and then to allow that same content, uh, once transformed and packaged and ready, to then move to all the various distribution points, including off to uh, all of your uh, mini consumers. We're also going to talk through a lot of enhancements in terms of new AWS services, uh, whether it's uh, for compute, for networking, for storage, uh, AWS Elemental uh, Media Services, and then finally we'll talk through some advancements uh, in new artificial intelligence and machine learning services that are helping make our media workflows smarter. AWS Local Zones is going to help extend AWS to more locations. Our first AWS Local Zone is going to be available in Los Angeles, connected to US West 2 region. Fox is actually going to be uh, using this uh, local zone. And we're very excited about what local zones will allow a lot of our media customers to do as far as helping, for instance, run remote workstations and visual effects types of activities, as well as broadcast production types of use cases. 
AWS Outpost is all about bringing the AWS infrastructure directly to your facilities, directly on premises. This can help in a variety of uh, uh, situations such as bringing your on-set and on-venue infrastructure uh, or having AWS services in your on-set and on-venue infrastructure. This could help with uh, workflows such as maybe running remote uh, location dailies and be able to run those dailies and process those dailies all utilizing AWS services through Outposts. Finally, we'll also talk about AWS Wavelength Zones, 5G connected outposts to local telcos. And really what this uh, boils down to is the ability to leverage 5G connectivity for different field locations. This can help with uh, live news feeds, for instance, uh, or maybe with uh, sports venues and getting that content into your outpost and then into the cloud for preparation for distribution out to your consumers. A lot of these advancements in terms of connectivity, in terms of lowering latency, uh, certainly are going to greatly benefit the broadcast operations of tomorrow. And we're already working with many leaders throughout the industry. We announced uh, Fox, of course. Uh, we've been working with uh, others like uh, Discovery, like HBO, as far as their broadcast uh, playout operations uh, in cloud. Uh, and we're also going to be working more and more uh, on live production for broadcast. Uh, so uh, stay tuned. We're seeing a lot of excitement uh, around the world from many broadcasters who are now preparing to move a lot of the broadcast operations into an AWS type setting. We've also been working with the compute team to optimize a lot of uh, the EC2 instances to help with media workflows. We announced on Tuesday AWS Graviton 2 processor. This is going to help provide up to 40% better price performance for some of your media intensive workloads. We also announced latest generation of NVIDIA T4 GPUs. This will help also with uh, remote graphic workstations, with video transcoding. And finally, uh, one of my favorite here is uh, AWS Compute Optimizer. This is leveraging machine learning to help identify and recommend the optimal Amazon EC2 instance types for some of your workload compute intensive uh, types of operations, such as, uh, in this case, rendering, transcoding, or maybe even video processing. Media workflows are becoming more and more a global affair. They're involving many different contributors from different parts of the world, creatives, partners, and whatnot. Uh, and from a networking perspective, we're connecting a lot of the dots with accelerated site-to-site -site VPN using AWS Global Accelerator. We're also seeing uh, advancements with AWS Transit Gateway, cross-region peering, and multicast support. CloudFront now is up to 210 points of presence around the world across 73 cities and 37 countries. From a storage perspective, we're seeing quite a bit happening with Amazon S3 replication time control. AWS DataSync and Amazon EFS are also now adding many more regions around the world. From an AWS media services perspective, uh, also seeing a lot of new advancements and feature releases over the last uh, several months. Media Connect now supports RIST reliable internet stream transport. Media Live now supports MPTS multi-program transport stream for broadcast distribution with support for StatMux outputs. On the Media Convert side, several releases, Dolby Vision HDR support, Dolby Atmos. We've got accelerated transcoding at up to 25 times normal speeds, 8K support, IMF interoperable master format uh, support. Uh, also with Media Package, we now allow for just-in-time packaging for video on demand. Media Store is now supporting chunked object transfer. This will allow for ultra low latency for end to end OTT workflows. And finally, Media Tailor is now supporting ad insertion of live pre roll advertising. We also have been rolling out several media solutions over the last uh, two years. And uh, in the last uh, few months, we've actually made uh, some updates to some of our existing solutions. Uh, these solutions can actually be found at aws.amazon.com forward slash media forward slash solutions. Check them out. We've got a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, some of the solutions that we're highlighting because of uh, recent releases are Edit in Cloud, Media to Cloud 2.0. This will help with ingest of content from your existing on-prem asset management solutions into uh, an AWS type setting, as well as Media Insights Engine. And this is going to help with your media analysis and insights for use cases such as search, discoverability, quality control, moderation, and monetization. 
And finally, uh, I'd like to uh, just make mention of some fantastic new services in terms of uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning that, once again, are going to help a lot of our media workloads just become that much smarter. We've got Amazon Recognition Custom Labels, which will help, for instance, with detection of logos, icons, characters, products. Amazon Kendra, very excited about this. It's uh, still in preview. Uh, but this uh, eventually will help us with searching across rich media, leveraging artificial intelligence and machine learning with these uh, searches. And then finally, Amazon Augmented AI. And this will help with workflows that involve human interaction with ML predictions and inferences. These are great for use cases such as content moderation, subtitling, uh, and so on. And so I'm just uh, extremely excited about what the future holds as far as next-gen media workloads running on AWS. If you have any questions or would like to find out more about any of these services, please reach out to your account managers. We'll make sure to bring in the right specialist to help uh, you as you innovate with your future uh, media workloads. Thank you.